You're watching Hot Ticket, your source for what's happening in Hampton Roads. I'm your host, Michelle Seeger. For the past 40 years, the Urban League of Hampton Roads has been on a mission to make our community smarter, healthier, and better prepared for tomorrow's challenges. For the past 25 of those years, they've also sought to honor companies and individuals who strive to do the same. The Urban League's annual Whitney M. Young Dinner is the venue for that recognition, and we have a couple of experts on this year's 26th annual dinner here to tell us all about it. Thank you both very much for coming. Thank you for the opportunity to be here. Now, as I said, the, the Urban League, I mean, you all are really concerned with making the entire community better. Can you tell me, as the director of the Urban League, a little more about that? Absolutely. Uh, the Urban League has several programs that provide opportunities for individuals to improve the quality of their lives. And we do this through programs in education, health, housing, and workforce development. For example, in housing, we have saved over 3,000 homes from foreclosure in this region. And we've just recently launched a new workforce initiative that's designed to put 18 to 24 year olds back to work. And so we're in the forefront of addressing some critical issues in our community and finding solutions that help the business community, the nonprofit sector, and others who want to make a difference work together towards a better community. Well, from a business development standpoint, local businesses must love you all. Now, you're, uh, you're the dinner chairman, Mr. Kelly. That's but correct. But you're also representing a local business that's intimately involved with the Urban League. Tell us how, um, how a business like yours can work with the Urban League. Well, the business is Williams Mullen, and it's a law firm, um, a large business law firm, uh, regional in scope, with offices in Hampton, Ro <clears throat> Hampton Roads. Um, we are committed to diversity as a law firm, and this is part of our commitment is to work with the Urban League because we, the Urban League, seeks to develop self-reliance on the part of the community right. and to help people be successful and, among other things, workforce development uh, is part of that process and we recognize that that helps us succeed in our efforts to become more diverse. So Williams Mullen is committed to diversity and therefore to the Urban League of Hampton Roads. It's an honor for me to serve mm -hmm. as dinner chairman. And it certainly can't hurt to have an organization that's developing educated, healthy workers partner with businesses in the community. Are there still opportunities as far as the dinner and as far as business partnerships in general for businesses to work with the Urban League? I'm so glad you asked that question because there are numerous opportunities for businesses and other organizations to join us. We recognize that we cannot do this work alone. But working together, you know, we can really have a significant impact. And so just like Williams Mullins is an organization committed to diversity and inclusion, we invite other companies that have that same goal to join us for the 26th annual Whitney M. Young Dinner on May the 5th. They can join us by becoming a corporate sponsor, and there are various ways that they can engage with us for this dinner event, but also throughout the year. I'm glad you actually brought me back to the dinner because I'd love to hear about some of the businesses and individuals who are being honored at the dinner. Oh, abs absolutely. We have a wonderful array of uh, honorees this year. We're delighted that the Whitney M. Young Award itself will be presented to Massimo Zanetti and uh, they're a relatively new company to our region, but one that is having tremendous growth. And we think it's important to showcase that company at this event. Uh, a steadfast member of this community for a number of years has been Amata Hoffler. They mm -hmm. will also be recognized, along with some stellar um, individuals, such as Dr. L.D. Britt, with Eastern Virginia Medical School, as well as Joel Rubin with Rubin Communications. But we also look to highlight young people. Again, going back to the theme of this year's uh, event, leading the charge for tomorrow's workforce, we have two young men who will receive the Jocelyn P. Goss Award. These two young high school students are really doing exemplary work academically in their extracurricular activities and in volunteer service. So you can see we move from 
a large national company in scope to a regional and local company, to a small business, and to up-and-coming individuals, our high school students, to be honored this year. And hopefully those high school students will reverse that trajectory and one day be heading up large businesses. We'd love to see that happen. Well, for more information on this and everything the Urban League is doing, check out ulhr.org and join them at the Whitney M. Young Dinner. For Hot Ticket, I'm Michelle Seager.